Caroling is part and parcel in a Pinoy Christmas, but it's safe to say that we have this type of carolers in mind and not what Ronel Pasqua painted. Usually carolers, especially those who impose themselves upon us with a cacophony of noises, try to elicit sympathy in how they look, but not these rotund carolers. They remind me of the late actor Ike Lozada. I can't even tell if they're adults or kids. I like how happy and confident our carolers look. In a society that worships chiseled jawlines and toned muscles, they are not self-conscious at all, although it makes me wonder how much sympathy and, consequently, tips they will receive. But looking at the bills hanging around their waistband and a pail full of money, I can see where their confidence is coming from. Speaking of confidence, the one in stress is oozing with it by wearing what usually would be a no-no to plus-size people. He does look good without looking larger than he actually is. The lead singer is not taking any chances by putting on a polka dot shirt to add to the suerte and suerte they have gotten so far. Can you count the total amount they've received so far from the houses next to the church where they probably emerged from attending the misa? Even though there's only a few houses, they have already an impressive collection. The lead singer and his backup can buy a shirt with enough fabric to cover tummies, unless the crop look is what they are aiming for. Our carolers have eschewed a pants and tambourine and have armed themselves with a real one and a guitar that looks too small. You have to wonder if it's real. The one in yellow converted, I used a bi biscuit can into a bongo. I don't think they're done with their caroling as they're still singing and playing, brandishing the guita as they march off to the next neighborhood to spread Christmas cheer. Pascua completes his Pinoy Pascua painting by decorating the tree and houses with the ultimate symbol of a Pinoy Christmas, the parol. He paints them in different colors that makes them stand out from the dark shade of the tree leaves and the windows. He compensates the lack of stars in the evening sky with his Christmas lanterns, that would make an OFW really homesick for the best and longest Christmas celebration in the world. Pascon Pinoy is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.